Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time, and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. If you are keen or interested in becoming a member of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career, and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one sessions slash life coach sessions, which will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the links to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we're spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Someone wants to be your best friend. Someone wants to be your best friend. We have the lover's energy. It's like this is a woman towards another woman. This is um a woman wanting this with another woman. Someone wants to connect with you on a deep level. Okay? Yeah. This is someone that is very unfulfilled in their life. Um, the life that they live doesn't make them happy. But since they've came across you in their life, things have changed for the better. That's why this person wants to be your best friend. But the thing about this person is you and them are not on the same side of life. The same vibration, the same frequency, the same wavelength. Um, you're not the same, right? You don't resonate. Your spirit, your heart, your mind doesn't agree with this person. This person hasn't revealed themselves to you because they're ashamed of that truth that you and them can never be friends. But because this is deeply something they want, they feel like they have to live with something that's weighing heavy on their heart every day. Because with the world being here, like this person likes to look at you, spy on you, stalk you, observe you, this person likes to do this a lot, study you, because they deeply obsess with the fact that you exist. Because you existing makes this person feel happy, and they've never felt happy inside. So someone feels attached to you, beloved, but they know that you and them can't ever connect. And that's something they don't know if they can live with. Four of Cups, you're Knight of Pentacles. They don't know if they can live with your rejection or the fact that or well, they don't know rather if they can live with the truth of the fact that you and them can't connect. They don't know how that's... They don't know how they're going to take it moving forward because they're pretending to be okay right now. This act is, 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 is working for them right now. They're faking it right now. You know, they're wearing a false mask right now. They're lying to themselves, but they can't keep doing it. Someone wants to just rush in and, 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 and say something to you, but they know that it will ruin everything if they even approach you. This person doesn't want to have a bad um, encounter with you. They don't want the fact that you and them are in different energies to interfere with the fact that they feel what they feel for you. Like this is a witch that wants to connect with the divine feminine They love your power. This person wants to be your best friend. They want to connect with you, but they know it's never going to happen because of who they are. But they always dream about this. They always wish for this. And it hurts them every day, the fact that 
you and them are not together, you're not connecting. They feel like your energy is very healing. This person is in a lot of pain in their life. They've made a lot of bad decisions and choices. And they're looking at you as a way out of those bad decisions and choices. But they know that you don't want anything to do with them because of who they are. They, they, You don't even need to say it. You don't even need to know who they are. This person knows that it would be pointless to even entertain that thought within themselves of you and them connecting and being best friends. But they can't help it. This person knows you're an empress. They know you're divine feminine. They love your light. They wish you and them can have a conversation about real life things. They wish you and them can connect and, you know, have a connection, a bond. I keep saying connection, connection. Someone wants to connect here. Someone wants to attach themselves to you. Like someone is a witch. So you know how witches be. They can't help but be who they are. Even if they, they, they try to even have good intentions. Because what I'm seeing here is if someone could get into your energy, they would try to steal your energy. They wouldn't be able to hold it in. They wouldn't be able to fake it, pretend, wear a false mask or act. They'll find themselves doing things to bind themselves to you. This is someone who would watch you in your sleep or take your underwear and wear it. Like, someone is deeply obsessed with you. This witch here. Yeah. They want you to teach them your ways. They wish they could switch sides, but they know it's impossible. This person knows that you and them will never be. I feel like this witch suffers from some form of mental condition because I find myself switching from negative energy to positive energy. Like this witch has some form of bipolar disorder or dysfunctionality, split personality. Um, they have an out of balance brain activity. This person tries every day to move forward in a peaceful way to make better decisions and choices, but they feel like they're too far deep into the rabbit hole of the witchcraft. Um, they feel like Satan already has this. They, this person feels like Satan already has them by the by the grip they feel like they can't get away from lucifer this person even when they try to have good intentions the darkness always follows it's like someone is wrapped in darkness and they can't get out and you are this shining light that is staring at them every day and they just want to get lost in it someone wants to get lost in you with you this person is unable to live with the fact that you are the healing and they can't get some of that they like someone wants you to heal them they know you're a healer they know you're kind compassionate but they know that you're only that way to those that deserve that side of you they know that you wouldn't just open up yourself to anybody just because they they say sweet things or sweet talk you you know those people that get, are desperate to get into your energy and they say whatever works someone knows you easily detect that you're not fooled by sweet talk and things of that nature This person is unable to move forward with the truth being that you and them will never resonate. So I feel like to cope with the fact that they don't have you in their lives and it, like to cope with the fact that they will never be able to have you in their lives, they're going to do something that um, will help them cope. Someone's going to try and attach themselves to you in a different way. If they can't do it physically, someone's going to do it emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Someone's like, okay, since... I'm that bad of a person, I might as well cast a spell on you. I was not going to do it because I wanted us to be best friends and I wanted to drop my witchcraft ways for you, you know. But like, since you rejected me and you, or you will reject me nonetheless, I'll cast a spell on you. Like, this person is like, is obsessed here. So they've been sending you magic, sex magic, trying to tap into your sacred chakra, trying to enable you to want them, trying to allure you into temptation, trying to seduce you. This is definitely girl on girl, same sex energy. Someone's trying to tap into your energy, divine feminine. This is a comic Jezebel, spirit of a witch who feels very entitled to your energy for some reason because you are a healer. They like, yo, so you're going to let me live with all this pain. You claim to be of good, but you let me be in this pain. It's like you don't owe anybody anything. 
who tells this person to go bewitch people and do all those hexes and curses that are now backfiring in their lives. This person is looking at you and saying and thinking and feeling all these things, but that's the least of their worries because their life is already falling apart. Someone's life is falling apart. They need to look at themselves and stop looking at you. Obsessing over you won't get them out of this. And with the Emperor Reverse, someone has lost control of themselves completely. Being obsessed with you is just a distraction, honestly. Because someone would rather be in that energy than to look at what they're facing in life. Like they're finding your energy as some form of escape. Like if I'm in your energy, I won't think too much about it. Someone wants your energy, someone wants you to heal them. They, like, they want you to feel like a terrible person for letting them live with the pain. They want to just drop their burdens on you and say, have you ever seen a witch cry and beg for mercy? I want to do that. I want to show you how bad I feel. It's like, of course you should feel bad. Look at how much harm you've caused upon others that is now backfiring on you. That's the reason they're in so much pain. It's because of the pain they've caused other people. And that's their decision and choice to live with, okay? This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon. On my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career, and finances, as well as ancestral um, messages. I also now offer one-on-one sessions slash life coach sessions, which will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.